Hello and welcome to FAST15, No More Naked Links. This is the FAST15 that we will cover what I call properly clothed links and what are more accurately called named links. There are several reasons that you would use a clothed link. First of all, they're readable. So they can be read by someone who is sighted and can just read the words. They can also be read by a screen reader. They're understandable. That means that they make sense in the context of the situation that they're pasted into. You don't have to stop and think about what am I looking at. You know because the words that you use to link to are descriptive of the destination. That's the third point. They are descriptive of where they are headed and screen readers can read them so they are therefore accessible. Let's talk about how this works. Let's say that I'd like to share this plan for new content to someone via email. I could go to that email that I've already prepared and say it's been this plan for new content has been submitted to the Office for Civil Rights and I would say wrongly but I'm going to show you what you often see is here's the link and if I go back here I'm going to grab that link right here say copy link go back to the email and if I paste this in like this and press enter it turns into a hyperlink but you can't read that hyperlink it is not descriptive of where you're heading it shows you where to go and I know that I should probably click that link because you're referencing something but I don't know for sure what it is that you're linking me to another common mistake that people make is to say click here for more information and they highlight here and put the link in the word here. This is also incorrect because according to the rules of proper linking, you would be linking someone to something that's called here. And that's not true at all. Instead, if you notice in the text of the email that I already had, what I really want them to look at is called the plan for new content. So I am going to highlight that plan for new content, insert the link here, and now that is a properly clothed link. It is descriptive of where I am sending the person and it is in line to the text, which means that it just reads along as part of the email. Now let me show you the steps to put a link into something. And I will be covering two methods for that, one keyboard and one mouse. So if I'm using my mouse, my steps are to drag over the con over the words that I'd like to use as a link, go up to the insert window, choose hyperlink. In here, in the address box, I would right click and push paste, and then I would click OK. And now that link is in there. Alternatively, if I wanted to use strictly my keyboard to make that happen, I'm going to do Control Z to undo that. I'm going to put my cursor here at the beginning of the plan for new content and hold down the Shift and Control keys on my keyboard and then use arrows to select the words. I used the right arrow to select words to the right of my cursor. When I let go of Control and Shift, then those word words stay highlighted. In almost every application or website that I have ever used, I have found that the keyboard shortcut Control K opens up the link window. Control K works for a link on almost every single application. Once I have that link window open, my cursor is by default in the address box and all I need to do is press Control V and then enter on my keyboard and that link is in the email. Now if I were to send this email to some someone, they would see that I wanted them to check out something called a plan for new content. It was on the web and they should go visit it for more information. 
in this day and age, nearly everyone knows that something that is highlighted in blue in particular and is underlined is a hyperlink and will take you to somewhere on the web. For my second example, I'm going to show you how this looks inside of a Google Doc. This would work very similarly in Word. This is a flyer that I'm putting together on the Digital Innovations team, and I'd like people to visit the Digital Innovations website. Again, I can't, I can't just paste in the link here. That is something that is, it would be unreadable completely. If I cl put, put, click here, and highlighted here and made that click here my link, that would also be wrong because I'm not telling them what I am sending them to. Instead, when I wrote this copy, I said visit the Digital Innovations Team page. And again, I'm going to use, let's start with keyboard this time, I'm going to press and hold Control and Shift, use the arrow keys to arrow over to the end of page, letting people know that I'm sending people to a web page. And then I need to get the link, and I'll show you why I would want to link people straight to that page. If I'm on the department's homepage, and I click on Educator Resources, I go to Teaching Material and Content Resources, then click on Educational Technology. This is the page that I want people to go to. I would also not want to put all of those navigation instructions that tell people the order in which to select menu items to get to the web page. So I'm going to control C on my keyboard to copy that link. I'm going to go back to my document and since it's already highlighted, I'm going to press control K and control V and apply and that link is now active. If I also wanted to link to the ODE website, I will show you how to do that again with your mouse. So you would press and hold your mouse, slide over to select, get the link from the destination that you want. This is the link I want to get, so I would click once in an address bar to select the entire text that is there, right click and choose copy. Go back to where I have got the words highlighted, right click and choose link. Click here, right click and choose paste and then select apply. And now ODE web is an active link to the ODE homepage. So there are two ways to link to content. I used a keyboard method to link to the Digital Innovations Team page, and I used a mouse method to click to the ODE homepage. This concludes FAST 15, No More Naked Links. Thank you for your time and attention today.